As you know, this week we are looking at the prophecies leading to the birth of the Lord Jesus Christ. And we go to the book of Jeremiah, uh, chapter 23 and verse 5. Behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, that I will raise to David a branch of righteousness. A king shall reign and prosper and execute judgment and righteousness in the earth. This prophecy of uh, Jeremiah points to the relationship between the coming Messiah and David, uh, the king of Israel. You know, God had called David uh, a man after his heart. He was a flawed human being. He had problems, but he was a man who was passionate about God and the things of God. So the Lord had promised that his line will become uh, the line of the Messiah. But over the years, the line of David uh, was not producing good kings. And, uh, and for a long time, no king uh, came from the line of David. So uh, the line of David then will be seen as a dried up branch. Uh, and, and there was nothing good coming from there. But then God spoke to Jeremiah and says, I will visit the house of David again in the future. And out of the house of David, I will raise this new leader that I'm bringing about. So God's promise to the house of David became fulfilled in the Lord Jesus Christ. And that shows you the nature of God. Even when the branch of David was dried up, even when it seemed like what he said about David would not come to pass, he still affirmed his faithfulness to David and the promise he made to him that of his line will come the Messiah the Redeemer. And of course, when you look at the lineage of the Lord Jesus Christ, both from Mary, his mother, and his foster father, uh, Joseph, the lines draw back to David, the king of Israel, both from the tribe of Judah. So on both sides, in the, both in the natural and in the spiritual, uh, Jesus Christ was qualified to become the Redeemer of Israel. The interesting thing is, at the time that Jesus was born, uh, the king of Israel at that time was a guy called Herod. And Herod was an imposter who had imposed himself or had been imposed on the people of Israel. Uh, and he was nowhere near the tribe of Judah or the lineage of David. He was actually a foreigner. He was not a true Jew. Uh, but he had been made the king of Israel. And people expected that he would be uh, the one who would be the Messiah. Remember the wise men went to him and asked him, where is he who has been born king of the Jews? So although somebody had imposed himself on the throne, God still knew how to appoint the right person. And there is a lot we can learn about the nature of God and his faithfulness for our own lives. That there are times that God gives us a promise or God says he'll do something for us. And it may seem like it's not going to happen. The root is dried up. The branch is dried up. But God still is faithful to his word. He did it for Israel. He did it through Jesus Christ. And he will do it for you. And even if a herald has seized what is yours and has imposed himself uh, over what is rightfully yours. God knows how to bypass Herod and lead to where you are. Never ever be in doubt about God's faithfulness to you as his child. If you walk in his ways, if you live according to his principles, never be in doubt about God's faithfulness to his people when they all serve him in righteousness. And, and so in this prophecy, we see that although David has been dead for many years, uh, God still remained faithful to him and the promise to him. And may the Lord be faithful to you and may he honor his word in your life. Let's pray. Say with me, Heavenly Father, you are a faithful God. Your promises endure for all generations. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Well, I'll catch you again tomorrow. I'm Pastor Mesa Otterville. Shalom, peace, and life to you.